Reddit wages war on Instagram over the feud of stolen memes, as if most of the memes on Reddit aren't just screen captures of other people's tweets on Twitter. Drake and Kanye continue their beef. There aren't any memes about it, but I need to put three things in the intro here. And finally, Sumeto has all of the weekend to plan what he's going to do for his Monday video. Does he do anything advanced, or does he leave it all up until 5 in the morning and record it as he goes? We'll find out the answer to that and more on today's episode of the Sumeto Media Show. Welcome back, everybody, to the Sumeto Media Show, YouTube's best comedy talk show on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you might be thinking, Sumeto, you've really sort of stepped up the production value. I can see that fancy white light in your eye. Are you a beauty YouTuber now? The Christmas lights in the background? This sensual sound quality? Don't worry. Below this desk, I'm still completely pantsless. Hollywood ain't gonna change me. Now, with that being said, we actually do need to make a change to you. That being you guys, the Sumeto army, the Sumeto subbots, the subscribers of Sumeto Media. Last time, I asked you guys to pick out a name so that I could refer to you as something other than <gasps> fucking degenerates. So, let's see what you guys came up with. Sue Mercenaries. It doesn't need to have my name in it, but, eh, I mean, let's give it a test run. Hey yo, what up my Sue Mercenary? Nope, I hate it. I hate it. Burritos. I don't really see what that has to do with the channel, but hey, I'll give it a go. And if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button to join the burritos. I, I mean, I don't know. Kind of sounds like I'm recruiting for Chipotle. School Samooters. Now, I just got my account approved to run ads. I feel like getting demonetized every single video probably isn't the smartest way to go forward. The Yeetin ones. Nope. Now, some squad isn't bad. I don't have a huge issue with it. What up, some squad? It's I mean, it's it it's it, it's terrible. It's it's pretty bad. Now, I like the ring of sumo wrestlers. Hey, welcome back, my sumo wrestlers. But I don't wanna I don't want people to feel like they have to be fat in order to enjoy my videos. You know, it helps, sure, but it shouldn't be a requirement for comedy. You know, my favorite part of December, the ever-growing cold, heavying down the air, frostbite, white snow, super chilly, you finally get home, a little bit of warmth in your body, take off your big winter coat, you need something to warm up your body. What do you grab? A cup and a nice, steaming, warm glass of thought chocolate. My phone and memes I've saved but never used. You would not believe the backlog, the catalog of memes I have that I, I just don't even know why I found them funny anymore. They're from so long ago. But I felt the need to save it to my phone like, oh, this will come in handy eventually. No, it, it definitely didn't. Catholic girl, I'm saving myself for marriage. Her asshole opened by everyone. You know what they say, if it ain't used to make a baby, God's rules are a little lazy. They teach you that in Sunday school, right? Dog grows fur to be warm in the winter. Human shaves dog and then puts clothes on a dog to warm him up in the winter. Am I a joke to you? As if a Shiba Inu would last five minutes in the real world. They're like the cats of the dog world. <laughs> Some boys. Oh, sumo boys. Oh, sumo boys. Wait a second. Hey, what up, sumo boys, and welcome back. Ah, why does everything sound stupid when I say it out loud? We all know the classic conflicts in traditional American literature. Man versus man. Man versus food, or uh, nature. Man versus self. But let us not forget, man wanting to die versus mom would be sad. Perhaps the greatest conflict in the history of my life. Ow, this hurts so bad. Oh, a talking fish. Will you grant me a wish? I don't have any magic. I'll suck your dick though. What a coincidence. You were under the impression you was a magic fish that could grant you a magic wish, and the first thing you were gonna request was to get your dick sucked? That costs like 20 bucks, dude. Like get a, get a car or something. All right, you go fishing, you catch a magical fish, and he gives you one wish. Whatever you want, it can't be more wishes. You know the rules. Let me know down in the comments with hashtag SumetoWish. 
What do you wish for? What would truly make you so happy that you would waste this once in a lifetime opportunity on? Let's find out together. I would probably wish for a second stuffed panda to have in my background. I've already got one, but to have two, I mean, ooh, the summits, it's simple. But given that Summit is kind of like, that's basically my real name. That's how I like introduce myself to people who are, I never, like I'm not gonna explain to them that it's actually Summit and it's like a Hindi name. And like, just go with Summit. You know the word, just call me that. I feel like it'd be awkward. Sum, sum, sumiter, s sumiters, sumiters, sum, ugh, I don't even know. See, it, it, I, I don't blame you for saying my name wrong. When you spell it with one M, I can barely figure out how to say it correctly. Oh, time to end it all. Come to me, sweet release. Oh no, but my mom will be sad. Whatever wish, I don't know why I'm taking this tone. This is like, this is legitimately true though. Imagine getting jumped by some prehistoric dudes and one of them says, ugh. And ugh translates to gather his nuts and berries. Oh no, oh no. The porn isn't blurred, Japanese <gasps> just look like that. Now I haven't actually been to Japan, so I can't verify whether or not this is true, but if anybody's gonna do some technological <gasps> shit like that, it's, it's gonna be the Japanese. There is exactly one McDonald's, and I don't know, I don't know why, but there's exactly one McDonald's moderately near me that still has the breakfast chicken biscuit. The Southwest style chicken biscuit, whatever they call it. It's like my favorite thing on the McDonald's breakfast menu, right? And every single time, every single time, I will go to the McDonald's right across the street from me. It'll be like four in the morning. I'll be done recording a video and I'll be like, yo, let me get a chicken biscuit. And every single time for like two years, they've been like, dude, we don't, we don't have those. We know who you are because you come in here four days a week asking for one. We don't have chicken biscuits. It's been discontinued or whatever. And I find out a place 28 minutes away has chicken biscuits. And every single time I make that drive, I drive 14 minutes there, 14 minutes back, because in my mind, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm getting a chicken biscuit. And I'm in the drive-thru and they're like, we don't have chicken biscuits. What else do you want? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just gonna ruin my sleep schedule today again, I guess. Call us Mentos. Hey, yo, Mentos. What up, Mentos? Join the Mentos family down below. Smash that subscribe button to join the Mentos. I mean, it could work. I feel, I, don't, I mean, everything just sounds bad now. Or does everything sound really good? Nah, they all sound really bad. When it's the 75th of Spooktober and nobody is posting spooky memes. God, you guys remember Spooktober? Every single place felt like they had to have a skeleton in their meme. 12 videos in a row was nothing but skeletons and ghosts and pumpkin spice lattes and Ariana Grande for some reason. When the witch pleads on not guilty, so you bind her to a rock and throw her into the lake to see if she was right. Medieval problems require medieval solutions. Whatever, women are expendable and witches are real. Let's just follow that logic. I'm just joking, we all know witches aren't real. Now Reddit, for the history of Reddit, has always had an issue or brought up the fact that Instagram, 9gag, iFunny, every other social media platform takes content from them, memes specifically, and then shares it on their own platform. Uh, Instagram is probably the biggest culprit of this. Uh, lots of accounts will basically just copy the top posts off of the Reddit and then post it on their Instagram account kind of weird of me to talk about because that's basically what I do with my YouTube videos, but the anti Instagram memes are pretty funny. So let's look at those. When you add an iFunny watermark, so not even Instagram normies would touch it. Modern problems require modern solutions. Uh, I feel like you might be dramatically underestimating just how desperate Instagram meme posters will get. Making a meme minimalistic so that Instagram people can't steal it. That's one idea. When you don't include the image whatsoever so that people on Instagram won't be able to understand it. Now here, here is an idea. Memes in the EU be like. When you switch the subtitles to confuse the Instagram normies. Outstanding move. I mean, if you truly get confused by the switching of subtitles, I mean, you'd probably look at this and be like, oh, this is what this meme is now. At the end of the day, I think the Sumeto Media Bros is the best thing to go with. 
So, my Sumeto Media bros, if you want to catch every other episode of the Sumeto Media Show, make sure you smash that subscribe button so that you can catch these videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have something to say. If you want to submit your own memes to me, links are in the description. But otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Spice.